So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video is going to be going over and recapping EW's latest live stream in which we got our first look at the waterfowl rework that will be coming along with Rev on Two League Coast. Now this clip here we are taking a look at the new boat blinds which are effectively layout blinds that you can place in water and as you can see you can place them quite a way out and then you have a really good field of view and if you surround yourself with decoys you could make yourself a really really nice setup and honestly I think these are going to be really really cool I had a lot of questions uh, after the last stream whether these were going to be um, sort of buildable blinds that were in static places or whether they would be placeable but they are indeed placeable the same as any other stand or tripod that you can purchase in game now, the next few clips are just going to be showing off some of the new waterfowl behaviour. And oh my gosh, guys, I am so here for this. The ducks, the way they land is incredible. And something that they mentioned is the fact that the ducks will now land into the wind the way they would in real life. And just look at how much more natural their animations are. They look like real ducks the way they interact. It is absolutely fabulous i am so so very excited for this and honestly the duck models we're going to get to that towards the end of the video purely because it's the best bit and i can't wait to actually talk about it but just 10 out of 10 from what i've seen with the waterfowl the way they fly the fact they're so much faster like i don't think you're going to be shooting ducks with a 22 anymore jaxi beard attempted it a few times on stream and they're just so quick and i really like that that's probably not going to be the main way to hunt these guys anymore and just look at how many ducks there are and the fact that they do this whole circling and just everything about them is just so much more natural and i just absolutely love it and i think they're going to be such a like more of a challenge now than they ever were and i think that's really going to add to their value in terms of getting rares and diamonds and stuff and my gosh i want to fill my trophy lodge with these guys because they are absolutely stunning and another thing that is really really awesome is their vocalizations they sound really fantastic so i will play a clip where you guys can actually hear the callers and the ducks actually calling it's really really cool so i, th I definitely recommend having a little listen and seeing what you think because honestly the noise of all those ducks was enough to get me excited <laughs> A gray one. Oh, goodness, man alive! Dog, lay down. I should have put him There's away. There's some tail. There's some tail. Yeah, they're right above us. I'm just gonna sit right here. There's another one in the water to grab it. I think that one's our teal that's floating because I'm pretty sure I hit a teal there. Oh, nice. Here we go. Here we go. Does it matter if we one set up for different species or all together? Do you have to space them out, have different areas? What's up, Bex? Um, so I, from what I'm told, I would recommend not mixing them, but you can have them next to each other. Uh, and that's yeah. going to take a little bit of exploring and, and learning. If I was you guys, I'd be putting in like, uh, like species specific setups, just like if you feel like actually focusing on something. Like if, if you wanted ducks, then just put ducks out. Um, it just, uh, it gets a little crazy. Um, we just got some, uh, information come through to correct a little bit. Uh, okay. Caper Kaylee can be shot on the ground or in the air. The only upland bird that needs to be shot in the air is actually the ptarmigans. So there you go. You will have just heard some of the beautiful vocalizations from some of the ducks. And I think they just sound fantastic. And I think it's really cool that you will be able to actually identify calls from them while they're in the air. And just in general, I think it's awesome. I also added the clip there of TK talking about um, which, which birds will be able to be shot on the ground and it sounds like everything except the ptarmigan can be shot on the ground i'm personally not a fan of that i think everything should have to be shot in the air for birds but that's apparently how it is right now and you will have just heard that anyway from tk himself so yeah but going into the store now and taking a look at some of the brand new duck callers and some of the decoys as well and of course we will actually see the decoys and calls for the bean goose and grey lag goose as well 
and yeah it's really really cool i also noticed that there was a call for the hazel grouse which i wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting there to be calls or decoys or anything for the grouse so i'm really really intrigued by that and i'm really excited to actually try that out and I think that the the callers look so much better with the sort of bit of a facelift they've had. And there's the Hazel Grouse caller there. Very thin, interesting, sort of, almost looks like a little flute. Beautiful looking little caller. And yeah, all of the callers just look really, really nice now. And I know that that's a sort of small thing, really, that the, the callers have had an update to their picture effectively. But I do think they look really nice. And we can see some of the brand new decoys here, which they do look absolutely fantastic. And when Jaxie Beard was putting out some of the decoys, as we were waiting for some of the ducks to come in, I was incredibly excited then to see what the ducks were going to look like if the uh, the models for the decoys looked that good. Um, honestly, they really didn't fail to impress. But this, I think, will be useful for anyone who wants to know sort of how much cash they need to grind up, really, for this map. You can see the prices of all the decoys. They're not too bad. It looks like they're 4000 each. Um, and I think TK said that you might get a few bean goose decoys or something to start off with. But overall, I don't think it's bad. If you want to grind money up for this map in preparation, you can obviously go and hunt the Canada geese on Hirschfeld. And currently, they're good for money. Fallow deer on Te Awara, mountain lions on SRP. Or just shoot, do what I do and just shoot everything. And then you'll earn a pretty good amount of cash. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. And it seems like the ducks pay decently well. I think they were like 400 cash each which might not seem like a lot but when you've got those huge amounts of them coming in i think you could really quickly rack up a very substantial amount of cash and i can see you know there being a lot of you know setups for this map so you might want a decent bit of cash to make lots of different setups because like tk was saying it might be better to have species specific setups rather than trying to have mixed setups so again i think that could be really interesting but now on to my favorite bit of the video which i'm really excited about the duck models let's just take a look starting off here with a female tufted duck and this is a female and look at how good it looks the ducks look so good i am so excited as soon as we saw the first one picked up i was like okay they really have done a good job with these they are absolutely stunning here we see a male tufted duck which they are just beautiful now while uh, Jaxie Bid's sort of looking at the score there. I'll just talk about it. A lot of people were kind of concerned, I think, seeing the score being so high. But it's very similar to the Hunter Classic. If you watched my previous The Hunter Classic video, you'll have seen a lot of the ducks have these really, really high scores. And it's because I think that they're based off of weight um, and weight specific scores. So, yeah, it doesn't seem out of place to me. I think they're just going with a similar system to the Hunter Classic, which, again, I am just totally here for and I think is really, really fantastic. And, yeah, what like they're just beautiful. What else can I say? They are absolutely stunning. Again, really loving the new Harvest screen with this darker background. It's going to make getting nice screenshots of your trophies so much easier because sort of albino animals or piebald animals aren't going to start getting lost in the background, which is something that I, at least I notice happens quite a lot now. So I'll be really excited to try and get some rares and see them on this new Harvest screen. And I just think little things like this are really, really nice to see because, again, it's not going to be a really really big thing for a lot of people that the harvest screen is slightly different but it's one of those quality of life things that makes a lot of difference if you notice it like i do and these models just against that background they just look so sharp and so clean and i will be really keen to see what some of the older models look like uh, look like against this screen as i said i think they'll show up a lot better and i think that can only be a positive but these birds are just beautiful. The feather details that have gone into these birds. I just hats off to the art, the artists for this because they've done an absolutely fantastic job. Um, I really couldn't ask for any more. They look realistic. They look beautiful. And here we get to take a look at one of the reworked mallards. Now, unfortunately, we only see a female 
but even the female looks incredible. That is so much more realistic, so much more detailed. It's absolutely fantastic. And I know that there's a lot of people that aren't really excited for these ducks, but man, I think if you see these models, I think that even some of the people that weren't that excited could get really excited. Now we get to take a look at a female golden eye there. Now, unfortunately, we only got a quick glimpse of the female, but let's take a look at the male. Oh my gosh, what a beauty. They are absolutely gorgeous. Those black and white contrasting feathers with this beautiful sort of dark bottle green colour head that is, you know, sort of shiny and oh, just beautiful. And then of course, offset with that gorgeous bright golden eye and the white patch on the on the face there as well, just to just for that extra contrast is just a stunning looking bird. These guys are just beautiful. They're beautiful in real life. They are stunning in game. They've done a fantastic job of capturing them in my opinion. But to my favourite of the new duck species, I thought it would be the golden eye, but it got taken. Look at this. This is a light green plumage type Eurasian teal drake. How gorgeous is this duck? And apparently there is a plumage type called dark green that TK mentioned that is apparently even more stunning than this. I'm sorry, how can you not look at this and just be amazed? It's a work of art and like I said, hats off to the artists. They have created little works of art with these ducks and it really speaks volumes, I think, with the teal and the golden eye. Absolutely incredible. So those were the ducks we got to see in the stream. Unfortunately, we didn't see the bean geese or the widgeon, which I really would have liked to have seen, but hopefully we will see them in the coming streams. Now, something else that got mentioned and we got to see at the very end of the stream was the rework for the Red Raptor Reflex site. And as you guys can see, we have a whole ton of options here to change all kinds of different things. The reticle shape, the reticle colour, the ret reticle opacity, the reticle size, the lens colour and the lens opacity. So Jaxie Beard's going to show you a, diff a couple of different options that he just picked. So this one you can barely, barely, barely see that reticle and I can only see it barely, like I mean for a split second whilst watching this in editing as I'm recording. I couldn't actually see it on the stream but Jaxie clearly could and he was able to use it and I think I'm going to end up using this site guys. It's so incredible and the, the really big thing for me is the next thing that Jaxie's going to show off. So Obviously, we're looking here at the reticles, which is, of course, incredibly important because now you can make your reticle as clear as you want, as big as you want, whatever shape you want out of those options. And as you can see here, they look pretty good. And the fact that you can change that colour as well is going to be so helpful. But the thing that really surprised me was the fact that you can change the lens colour and the lens opacity. And... When you get to see that, it really is quite shocking and surprising and it's epic because the fact that you can change the colour. So Jaxie Beer's gone here with a very stark colour just to show you guys. Look at how that sort of looks over the environment. Now, if you choose the right colour, like certain yellow hues, it can actually make it slightly brighter. Now, in the Hunter Classic, we can use glasses on our characters and there's yellow glasses to make darker areas slightly brighter. You've got your normal sunglasses to make really bright areas slightly darker. But here you can see that we'll be able to do that using this reflex site. And I think for hunting game in the forests, which could be quite dark, if you use perhaps a yellowish colour lens, it might help to brighten up that in sort of surrounding environment where those birds will be. And I know Jaxie actually does show off the yellow colour as well. And yeah, I think I'll definitely be trying that for hunting stuff like the capicale and the grouse if they're hanging out in the forests. And yeah, especially as well, if you're hunting the ducks and it's really, really bright, it might be helpful if you've got like a slightly darker tinted lens, I think, just for trying to focus on them as they're coming in. It might be something worth having, even if it's not your main shotgun, just on, you know, one of your other shotguns whilst you're 
sort of there in case you need it but here you go so you can see with the yellow it kind of brightens things up a little bit and it's a really interesting effect but i think that could be really useful in certain situations maybe even for night hunting situations i'll be really keen to go and test that out i really want to get my hands on this because there's so many things i want to go and actually try and i think the fact that you can increase the size of that reticle as well it will mean that, again, if you're hunting in situations like night situations and you need something a little bit bigger so you can see it a little bit more clearly, then you've got that as an option. And I think that's really fantastic. So a lot of interesting stuff in today's live stream. Like I said, the main things for me were really seeing those duck models, especially, like I said, the teal and the golden eye, but by far my favourites. Um, the blinds, the floating blinds were pretty much as I expected, basically floating layout blinds. Um, they're definitely cool, but not, not anything I didn't expect from when we heard about them. But I think they will be really cool to actually use. And then, of course, seeing that with the reflex site at the very end, I think they have done a fantastic job on the rework much much more than i ever expected all i expected was some sharpening up of the reticle and maybe the option to increase or decrease the dot size i couldn't have imagined in my wildest dreams that they'd give us the option to change the lens color and the reticle color and the size and everything that they've done i think honestly again hats off i think that that's some really fantastic work so yeah I'm really excited. I think you guys will probably be able to tell I'm really excited. Really looking forward to getting my hands on this map. Now, as for release dates, we still do not know um, when this map is going to be coming out. There was no full trailer shown today, so I don't know. They said that they're going to be doing things differently to how they've done it in the past. So basically, we can't really go off of, oh, they've, d they've done this in the past or they showed this trailer and then two weeks later we saw the release date or whatever because, yeah, it's not the same as any of the other releases. Um, there was a bit of confusion in the stream as well, which I will bring up just in case anyone heard it. Jaxie Beard said something about the end of July but he wasn't talking about a release date for Revon Tooley. He was talking about um, something from his personal life. I believe he was uh, talking about a moving date for him. So it's not to do with the map. Um, I would expect that we'll see the map sometime in June. I really wouldn't expect it to be sometime in July. That would seem like it would be quite a way off. Um, so I'd probably expect late June at the latest. But we've already seen quite a lot on the map and it's only the 24th of May. So I think there's a lot of possibility and they've said in coming weeks to do with the stream. So maybe another two weeks or more of, you know, seeing bits and pieces on the map. Hopefully there'll be an early access for the partnered content creators, which will be really cool. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited, but no official release date yet. Um, there's just no confirmation on that at all and I really do want to stress that because that's always the number one question and it's a fair question because it looks incredible and we're all very keen to get our hands on this map I think. So yeah, anyway I will stop rambling now. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of those duck models. Which one is your favourite out of the ones that we have seen? What do you think about the new duck behaviours? Because honestly I thought that was epic, like really epic to see. Um, what do you think of the Red Raptor Reflex site now? Has it gone from being one of the most unused scopes to possibly one of the best? Because I think with all that amount of customization, it could really, really have a lot of use now. I, I'm definitely going to be using it quite a lot. And you guys can see me on the channel in the future use that for sure if you're going to be curious as to how that's actually going to work in gameplay terms but yeah i'm really excited i'll shut up now thank you guys so so much for watching and for all your support as always and i will see you guys in the next video